<clears throat> Hi everyone, it is me, Jordan Long here, and today I'm going to talk about, you know, someone who thinks that I should skim my films, or clean my films, or cut my films, because they think that would make everything go good. Well, we think that you should skim your films. You mean like cut my films or clean my films? Well, no, I don't think so. I like my films the way they are. I think that I put enough work into them the way they are. And look, my films have come a long way from the early days of it. I'm filming in 1080p HD. All right, that might be not good enough for some folks, but it's good enough for me. When you always got these, you know, we think you should be cutting, they should be skimming or cleaning or cutting things out of your films. We think you will get more watch time and more looking if you did. Oh, is that so? Well, is there really any truth to back it up? Because I keep hearing all of these, uh, all of these supposed YouTube wise folk out there say, that if you that you got to do all this bullshit to get good watch time and looking on your films you know yeah well there's a lot of things in your films you could be cutting out a lot of things oh well first off Venom if you're skilled at one of the many and sundry film skimming tools out there or cleaning tools or whatever cutting tools out there then great for you if you're skilled at any of them I'm not and I'm not going to because I like my films the way they are I like how I make them I'm happy where my films started and where they are now you know if someone out there doesn't like folks who don't cut or skim or clean their films then they can always go watch someone else who does. YouTube has a lot of folks out there that do it. Does that make their films greater than your than my films and my else's films? No. It does not. Yeah, but they get more watch time. They get more looking. They get more folks writing things on their films and on their fairway. So they do, Venom. So they do. Everyone has a little thoughts and beliefs over how that happens. Some folks think that they make all make all kinds of some folks think they make all those reckonings and all those fairways just to write stuff on their films. Some folks think that they know everyone. Some folks think that everyone watching their films is kin and friends and classmates and half workers and whatever. You know, everybody's got a little thoughts and beliefs over how that happened. No one really knows the truth. You know, and you're not the first man or woman to ever scave me and say, Oh, you should be cutting or cleaning or skimming this out of your films. You get a lot more looking and watching if you did. Well, then we are sorry that we thought we said that that was just our thought or our belief yes there is there is no truth to back it up if you did any of that you would get more watch time or looking you know and yes some of those film skimming or cleaning or cutting tools out there the free ones and the ones you gotta buy they're not all smooth to work and they're not really that much outstanding things about them. Oh no. See the only skimming or cutting or cleaning or anything I do in my films is when my film is done and I make an end sheet. And that's the only thing the YouTube one seems to be good at. You know. Well we're sorry. About that. Forgive us. It's alright Venom. I forgive you. So that was me talking with Venom about his belief over how I should cut and clean and cut and clean and skim my films 
it seems to be a belief of some folks out there you should do that but if you like this film follow me over here at the Jordan Long Show which is the name of the fairway the handle is the Jordan Long Fairway what's the other film I made yesterday over here with Alicia Campbell the two Ford Yellow Keeper with New Year Goals I New Year Goal I Jordan Long <clears throat> and I'll see you later bye